Hello everybody, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this tutorial, I want to introduce an integration in Home Assistant. By using this integration, you can track the location of your Android and iOS devices and then create scenes and automations based on the location of these devices. The name of this integration is on tracks. Using this integration, you must have OnTrax application installed in your Android and iOS device. Before starting the video, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done yet, as it motivates me to upload more videos. Stay tuned. In Home Assistant web face, click on configuration on the left panel, select devices and services. At the bottom of the page, Click on Add Integration. Search on Tracks. Select it. Click Submit. This popped up window gives us a URL and encryption key. Write down the encryption key as we need it. OK, then click Finish. After that, navigate to Configurations, click on Home Assistant Cloud. If you do not have cloud service, you can enjoy one month free trial. In order to sign up, navigate to this website and sign up for an account. Start a free 31 day trial. After creating your account, logging to it. After logging into your cloud service in this page, which is in configuration, Home Assistant Cloud. In webhook sections, you will find on tracks. Enable it. It gives you a URL. Please copy this URL as we need it in setting up applications. After downloading integration and getting the URL and encryption key, it's time to set up application in Android and iOS devices. Let's start with iPhone devices or let's say iOS devices. Run on tracks application, tap on hello while using app, OnTrax would like to send you notifications. Tap on hello, continue, continue. About this notification, I tap on yes. This time I tap on yes again. Okay. In this page, at the top of the screen, tap on I, then tap on settings. In mode section, choose HTTP. Tap on continue. Set a device ID. Set a user ID. Turn on authentication. In URL field, paste the URL given by Home Assistant. Then in secret encryption key, paste the encryption key given by Home Assistant. After pasting the encryption key at the top of the screen, tracker ID field. Set a tracker ID, IP. Then go back to the map. iPhone app is ready to be used. Let's go to Android. On Android, run the application. While using the app, I choose it. Select three lines at the top left corner of the screen. Select preferences. Choose connection. Select the mode and choose HTTP, then accept. In host section, paste the URL given by Home Assistant. Accept. Then Tap on identification, set a username, set a device ID, 
and set a tracker ID then tap on accept after that navigate to advance in menu tap on encryption key paste the encryption key given by home assistant here okay apps are ready to be used it's time to set up zones in home assistant actually there are two ways that we can set up zones in application and in home assistant the latter is the best to set up a specific locations in home assistant you must create a file named zone.yaml inside home assistant configuration folder for doing so navigate to configurations select add-ons backups and supervisor you must have file editor installed if you do not have it tap on add on store select file editor and install it after installing the file editor and starting the add-on click on open web ui in this page click on folder icon in this list at the bottom of the list click on new file name the new file zones.yaml okay the file is created navigated to the new file paste these lines you can find the lines in description in front of latitude and longitude enter the information of your location specify the radius you would like to cover finding the latitude and longitude of your location you can do it by navigating to Google map selecting your location here you can find them after pasting the codes you can set a name for your location and set icon for it then tap on save now it's time to add some lines to configuration.yaml file click on folder icon find configuration.yaml add these lines to this file you can find the lines in description as you see after editing the yaml file a warning is displayed here something is wrong with the lines after correcting the lines it is changed to check mark click on save it's time to restart home assistant by navigating to configuration settings clicking on restart okay wait till home assistant reboots home assistant is rebooted on tracks is not perfect as it sometimes can report wrong locations or let's say report locations with low accuracy to avoid wrong triggers you must add a line to configuration.yaml file navigate to configuration add-ons and backups file editor open web ui in configuration.yaml file add these lines it's better to set max gps accuracy within 100 to 200 meters if you do so then only gps reports within that value would be taken into account tap on save reboot home assistant again in order to preserve battery consumption of your smartphone or tablet some settings in application must be taken into consideration on android navigate to menu of the on tracks application preferences advance we have inaccurate locations set it to 200 for example minimal location displacement by default it is set to 500 meters that's okay location intervals by default is set to 900 seconds it's okay you can decrease or increase these items 
and also do not use move mode as it consumes a lot of battery on iPhone tap on I settings in expert mode we have locator displacement locator interval you can decrease or increase the values of these two items after setting up applications you must share the app with home assistant T uh, on iPhone tap on share at the bottom of the screen and on Android tap on this icon share then home assistant must recognize your devices navigate to configurations devices and services you see that on tracks has detected two devices Samsung and user iPhone both of them are home checking a Samsung application I have an app that sends wrong GPS locations I use it wait a few moments you see that Samsung is changed to away so you can create and run scenes based on location of your Android and iOS devices I hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already you can support me by buying me a coffee I'll see you in the next video.